so uh, I wanted to do a video <coughs> real quick. I've been getting uh, several emails about people who have uh, mostly rural areas, farms, and that uh, sort of setting, or a single ho house, you know, houses separated, you know, like two acre lots, three acre lots. And uh, the question is coming up over and over, you know, I'm, Sasquatch are coming on my property, they're looking in my window, they're slapping on the side of the house. You know, what, what are some things we can do? Now, uh, on my uh, page, uh, the Sasquatch Awareness Program, I have a list of those things, practical things, and then spiritual things that can be done. And I kind of wanted to go over some of the practical things today to kind of show people uh, what I'm talking about when I mention trail cameras or when I mention uh, uh, Christmas lights or holiday type lights and then motion sensor lights. Now on our first line of the fence here, I always tell people the first thing I do is get some inexpensive trail cameras. These ca trail cameras here uh, cost me less than uh, $50. I think I got them on sale on Amazon. These, you know, I use these uh, for uh, deer and when I go camping or whatever, sometimes I'll stick them on the trees around the camp just to see what's lurking around. And uh, but these cameras are inexpensive. And what I do with these cameras, like let's say that the uh, I'm in a rural area and this is my yard and the fence line is where the woods start. Well, I want to put a perimeter around my house. So what I'm going to do, and I'll walk up here. So I want to make a, a camera fence. In other words, like if this, what I would do is I'd put a camera here facing that tree. And you know, I would find the specs of my camera and see what the, the range is of the passive infrared system. And then I'd put a camera, now I don't know what, but the camera's looking at each other because you can cover this camera from the back side with another camera. And this camera, and then I mount another camera here and another camera in the corner and so forth and so on. And I'd go all the way around my perimeter of my property, how many ever, whichever way they were coming from. Like in this situation, let's say they were only coming up to the back of the house, I would do the perimeter around the back. Or one of the things that uh, a, fr a person found out is when he perimetered off his backyard. So what I would do with the trail cameras would be to completely encircle your house with a fence. Like I said, depending on your situation, you could encircle just your backyard or if you need be, the entire property. And uh, though I, I know it kind of sounds a little bit expensive, but even, uh, you know, depending on the size of the property, but if you're, if you've got Sasquatch uh, messing with you, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a small price to pay uh, to try to keep them off your property. They, uh, the reason the trail cameras work is they don't like trail cameras, number one. Uh, they, don't, they don't like getting their picture taken. And uh, they, can, they know the technology's there the minute you put it up. They know what it does and they can, and they can sense it. And uh, since you've got a camera watching a the camera, they're going to be very less likely to try to destroy one because they'll know, you know, unless there's, <laughs> unless there's you know, a bunch of them and they all employ the strategy at all at the same time to smash a camera. But they're not usually that uh, overt to do something like that. So most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time the cameras are a good first step and discourage them. And along with the cameras, it's like a, it's a layer thing. And with, along with the cameras, another thing that I, we started recommending is these, uh, this is inexpensive, this was about $15. This is a holiday light. And you plug it in and it, it projects like, this one projects like little stars. And we take it camping and we project it up in the trees and it looks real pretty. But uh, 
what uh, I got a suggestion from a uh, from a person that uh, actually used this and it worked he took these and he projected them towards instead of like up in the sky he projected them out towards the backyard onto the uh, shrubbery and the tree line and encircled his house with these and it and uh, he also said he could use laser uh, those laser projectors that have a funky pattern or uh, those projectors that project things like uh, snowmen or whatever on the side of the house and you project that towards the woods and he said that fixed his problem pronto that uh, they really didn't want to come across uh, didn't want to come across that and then the and the other line of defense I recommend to people is uh, is motion sensor lights uh, all around the house and I, when I mean motion sensor light is I mean get a uh, again these lights have passive infrared sensors which the Sasquatch seem to just abhor those things and they can sense them and they know they're there and they really don't like light and they really don't like those sensors so you put those two things together and a combination around the corners of your house and maybe in the center you want a 360 circumference around your house and let me show you what one looks like that's uh, right there now this is a more expensive side that's about a forty dollar motion sensor line but it works well and throws a lot of as light. you can see i've got the passive infrared sensor there pointing at the fence and let me show you a more inexpensive but reliable alternative. Okay, these lights here, as you can see, that's a passive infrared sensor right there. And uh, I have LED lights in these. I actually set one up, kind of covered the front. We were having the prowlers, people breaking into cars. But these right here are only about $15 and not hard to install. And and I would put these all around my house, one in each corner, and maybe even one in the center. You can see this one over here, but I would go corner to corner, and then even in the middle of your house. So, you can see that again. I've got those set up, and those are about $15. So, the key is to make a layered defense with the trail cameras on the perimeter then your motion sensor lights on the side of your house and then the holiday lights literally spreading your backyard uh, full of uh, varied lights and and uh, light confusion and uh, that's the practical ways that uh, that I recommend you uh, try to deal with a Sasquatch issue where they're coming at the house they're coming on your property uh, and uh, slapping on the side of the house and doing other things. And there's other suggestions in there as well for, but those are the three main things as far as. Okay, here's the example of the. Okay, here's the example of the uh, trail camera fence. You can see I got a camera mounted here, and it's pointing at the back of this tree. And on the other side, I got another trail camera. And then this trail camera, let's say, would be on the edge of the fence there, I'd mount another trail camera, and in the corner, another one. That way, I literally have an electronic camera fence. And if the Sasquatch tries to come into the side or sneak up and mess with this camera, that one's going to get him, and in between these two, vice versa. So you can see how that setup goes. I recommend you point camera uh, I recommend you point a camera to camera to camera. Some people do one on both sides of the tree, which you can do. But what that means is if a Sasquatch steps in between the two, then most likely uh, you'll scare him away, but you're not going to get a photo or a, a video of him because uh, the, the lights will blind each other out. But as you can see here, this is the way I would recommend you putting up uh, your camera Okay, so one other thing, and it may be cost prohibitive, but this thing right here, if you got an area where your children are playing out back and there's a wood line and the Sasquatch are coming to the wood line and watching your children, a wall works every time. If it's affordable, it's a privacy fence, will definitely help. They're not going to climb it or jump over it because they don't. You know, and 
in my experience, they're not going to climb it or jump over it. And they may be able just barely to look over it, but it'll definitely be more noticeable. And so uh, sometimes it's the uh, low-tech methods that work the best. And sometimes just a barrier like that, especially if you've got like a play area and a playground for your children, is to surround it with a privacy fence. And maybe make it a little bit higher than an 8-foot one. Maybe go uh, 10 to 12. And uh, that way your children will definitely be protected and uh, from those prying eyes. I hope that was helpful to you and uh, and appreciate you watching and uh, y'all be safe out there. God bless.